I have naturally, I would say, get my my zest for life. I'm a Leo. I wake up in the day. Today's a new day. Um, when I graduated from high school, um, I was thrilled to pieces to be leaving. And it's over. Yay, let's move on. I'm going to college this fall. Um, so I was even uh, being bullied a lot uh, verbally. Um, I can remember that it's amazing that I did not get my butt kicked because I would have a smart ass comment to say back, uh, which then throws somebody else that's calling me all these names, of, you know, growing up queer and all that stuff. That, um, and I don't, I can't even remember why, but that, that was just instinctively me, is that I'm not going to back down. So, um, I have some good memories of high school because I just, you know, it's a new day, so make the most of it. Uh, but I definitely remember the, the three, sp specifically three guys that were, you know, almost like daily would say nasty things. Have you ever followed up to see what happened to those three guys? Ironically enough, <laughs> they all three sent me, how many years ago, a few years back, f Facebook friend requests, really? which blew my mind. I'm like, what? And so I sent them a message. I didn't accept, I didn't immediately accept that request. I wrote them back and I said, I'm shocked. I mean, you, you really said some awful things to me in high school. So I'm just wondering why you're sending me a friend request. Just asking them. Um, one of them in particular was, off, was really just nasty. He said, I don't remember that. He said, I was just trying to get by, et cetera, et cetera. And so I took him at his word and that was the case. Uh, so I did accept his friend request. We're not buddies, but you know, um, another um, said he, he didn't mean to be so, so awful and terrible. Didn't remember it so much either. The third went into defense mode and just was defensive about the whole thing. And did that, I mean, did your friend request, did you accept it, the third one? I did. I did. It's okay. Oh, um, man. Because we're not in the same place as we were. It doesn't mean that I'm, um, it's one of those things that I don't think about, like forgiveness, when we think about forgiveness, is it, it's, it's for me and not for somebody else. I don't really need to forgive them of anything because I'm not there anymore. Uh, but it's a reminder to me of, of, I didn't hold on to it anyway. I went off to college. I didn't think anything about them. I'm like, why would I? So then here out of the blue, they sent <laughs> me years and years later. The ironic part, and this, somebody was saying I'm being mean about this, but I'll be honest about this, is that um, I was obese in my senior year in high school. I was very overweight. And um, in the span of about seven months, I, I lost nearly 100 pounds. And so I... I changed my life, and that was on my own program. And so those three were very fit and lean, and on, two of them were on the football team, etc. So today, it is the reverse: is that they are <laughs> overweight. I'm laughing only because how ironic that is. Yeah. Uh, and maybe it says some people get older; they don't care about that. But um, it, it's interesting because I. I was not good looking in, in high school. I was fat and pimply and, and, and I, I got over that. Uh, so I, it's interesting, it's one of those things that, is that karma? I don't know, I don't know, but it's one of those things that, wow, okay. Uh, and I don't wish ill on them, you know, I wish them well. Uh, so some of the teachers that I had, I also used to idolize teachers and professors. I do not do that now because I look back and thinking, wow, I had some really good teachers. And I had some really awful teachers, I mean, biased teachers. One in particular that I um, sent me a, a Facebook friend request just two years ago, two, a year or two ago, I think it was. And I'm like, I deleted it. I'm like, I would not even associate with this person again, ever. I mean, she, she was just awful. I mean, just, just terrible. Do you think that was like the biggest thing you learned from Attend, attending that specific high school or? So that was the only option for high school, so right. it was. Um, that was a good lesson when I look back on it, is that, um, is, the, is that we, there's a book that's for kids and it's called Everybody Poops. And I think that is just like, that, kid, to, that we all put our, you, we're all the same to a degree and not to idolize somebody to, the, to, to put them on a pedestal uh, because we all have good days and we, all, we can have bad days. That, that, that 
And if somebody's not doing their own personal work uh, to really shine the light in their, on their, the parts I call my shadows, the parts I hide, repress, and deny, uh, that are belief system, uh, is that some people, especially men, will overcompensate. They will have that tough veneer because I can't show that I'm, I'm, I, I'm soft or that I'm caring. Uh, and then that will come out sideways at people. So one of the biggest things is one of the coaches, he was also a science teacher, gave me a hard time. I mean, he, he really gave me a hard time. I remember one time I was a junior. He said, for a fat boy, you sure don't sweat much. I was like, that slapped me all over the place. So the next year, it was, I, was, I don't know why I was staying late uh, in his room. Uh, and I just asked him one day, I'm like, why do you give me such a hard time? And as, as serious as he could, he said, Stephen, of all these kids here, he said, there, there's not a lot. That was his, he said, you, uh, I see potential in you that I do not see in any of these, so many of these other kids, is that I'm just trying to push you. I'm not a, I can talk a lot. It's easy for me to talk, but I was speechless. I was like, wow, wow. Yeah, and I'm, and I'm like, wow. Because it's like my senior year, he was not as mean, but he still, you know, would, you know, push me a little bit, push me, I say that now. I'm like, w just a different perspective of that. Because probably the way he was taught was that, to not encouragement, because to me, I'm like, don't belittle me or say things like that. Um, so it's interesting, but I'll, yeah. And then I have a couple of the English teachers that were not, liked by most kids were my favorites. I thought they were great. Why? Uh, they were there to teach. They weren't there to be friendly. And that they were clear with their communication um, and that they were direct. And they, for me, they did not play favorites. They didn't play favorites. Um, and I think that's so important in, in an educational setting is that don't show favoritism. Have everybody be your favorite. Wipe the slate clean every day. And because I have family that are in the school system, it's obvious that that is not the case. Like, oh God, I'm having so-and-so is the, is the brother of, 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 of Jimmy that just left and he was awful, so I just dread having Carla in my class. Or, you know, or James. I'm like, <laughs> oh, wow. So, you know, it's, uh, and it's interesting because it's still the only high school in the county that I grew up in. Um, and, yeah, and I just think about, well, I, I, it's interesting when I think about school is uh, where'd you go to school? Well, it depends. Are you asking me if high school, elementary school, or college? Mm -hmm. And some people just say automatically go to college or they go to high school. Well, I was born in Allegheny Memorial Hospital in Sparta, North Carolina. It's in one of the rural, most rural counties in all of the state, in the mountains. Yeah. I've, got, I've been here 20 years, so I was in, grew up in North Carolina, but uh, my partner Hank had a mortgage and I was renting and it just made sense for me to move. And I stayed. And you stayed in the area, why? Well, I would say that it's up to me to bloom where I plant myself. And I was um, a little bit established and at the time I picked everything up and I moved here. And so I was here and it just, I didn't have some great calling to go back to North Carolina. Really? Beautiful state. Uh, we have the, the mountains, the Piedmont, and the coast. Uh, and I, ending up back in the mountains makes sense because I, I lived in the Greensboro Triad area, the Piedmont area, uh, going to college and staying there for 19 years. And then coming back to the mountains is home because it's so beautiful. Where? I went to the University of North Carolina, Greensboro. I was on a five-year plan. It's in the middle of, of the state. Uh, Greensboro is in the middle of the state. Sparta in Allegheny County is, there's one county that separates Tennessee and it borders Virginia. So it's up in the corner there. 